Hey everybody. Well, I'm going to do this for Lore, since if you've watched the last video on uh, Lore Searchers Episode 4, where I did some summoning for him, uh, there's probably like 8 subscribers who know what I'm talking about, who've watched the video, and maybe 30 of you who watch the videos but have not subscribed. So, we were able to summon the Fire Pirate for Lore Searcher. He is now daunted with the task of wanting to know what to rune with him. Um, the Fire Pirate is definitely a unique monster in that it's an attack monster, but it has some interesting skills that allow it to be a support monster as well. Its first skill here, the Backspin Slash, decreases enemies' defense by 75%, or has a 75% chance to decrease uh, enemies' defense, or uh, break their defense. Second skill here is it randomly hits three targets with a 75% chance to stun, and then the Detonation Shot. Uh, this does a lot of damage and sets off any bombs that are on your enemies that are ticking down. So you can make this a completely attack monster, or you can actually make it a support attack. Um, it randomly... Okay, so we'll start with the first skill here, actually. 75% uh, chance for defense break. How do you take advantage of that? Um, there's a couple ways here. Since it's already taking defense down, it's putting a crack in their shield and their armor, we can take advantage of that by adding Fatal to add to attack damage, or we can go Rage and do crit damage. They're also, you know, pretty good. And since it is the first attack, you could go with Violent, giving your guy an extra 22% chance of going again. So as soon as it, or hopefully, it will defense break and then go again on that first attack. And of course, those are the four-star runes right there. Oh, not four-star, the four-set runes. So Violent, Fatal, or Rage. Um, so if you want to do a four-set and two-set, if you want the four-set, I would pick either Violent to go that extra turn to take advantage of that first skill. Uh, and of course, going extra turn helps your cooldown times as well. Uh, or going Rage or Fatal to take advantage of that shield being down to do more damage. The two set runes, you could go with Blade to do increased crit rate. Um, Revenge for Counter. Really, those are the only two set runes that I can think of that would really take advantage of that. You really don't need... well, Or you can go... I suppose you could go Accuracy as well, Focus. Um, but that's actually for not the... Well, yeah, Focus to increase the chances of taking down the defense. Uh, and speaking of focus, we can go look at the second skill. Um, sorry, not the second skill. Yeah, the second skill, uh, which chooses three people and has a 75%. 75%? Yeah, 75% chance for stunning. If you go focus, you can increase that chance. And this would be the support part of the character, of uh, the monster, uh, doing the focus to have a better chance of stunning. If you went that route, or in, uh, you could also add Despair Runes to it, which adds the 25% chance of stunning with the 4 set. If you go the, the support route, I would actually go the with the Despair and Focus. Uh, the Despair will give it another 25%. It's already getting 75%. So if you add the 4 set with Despair, 
you now have a 100% chance of stunning, uh, minus their ability to resist, of course. And then go with focus. That would definitely uh, help with the third skill if you wanted to go support route. The third skill there, knocking off the bombs, you don't really need focus for that because it's an automatic thing. Any bombs they have on them, done. But that third skill also does massive damage. We could take advantage of that massive damage by going back and making it an all attack monster and going for uh, rage for the crit damage and hopefully he gets a crit um, you know going blade rage and blade as a typical attack monster um, to take care of that uh, that third skill there hmm Of course, going all attack, you do leave the fact that he would be kind of a glass cannon, so he's probably going to get hit a lot. Um, energy runes or guard runes might help increase the chance that he'll get less damage done to him. Uh, if you kind of wanted to go like a, a jack of all trades, you might be able to do blade and focus, which are both two sets, and it would leave you one more two set, and you can either go energy and guard, but it won't make him a strong character, it'll just make him uh, like an average monster. Uh, he won't do a lot of damage, but he won't take a lot of damage either. So it really comes up to like how your gameplay is, what kind of monsters you're going to pair with the uh, fire pirate here, uh, Karak. So there's my idea, there's my thoughts on that, and I, I hope that helps you, Lore. I hope that helps anyone else who might have the Fire Pirate, or uh, someone else who might be getting the Fire Pirate in the future. Go with either Despair, to increase that stun chance, and he'll be a good support stunning monsters all the time going violent to go for those extra turns to take advantage of that first skill and to decrease his cooldown time. Rage for that crit damage which would also take advantage of the first skill as well as the third skill going or going fatal and uh, doing that attack percent uh, which would also of course help with the first skill and the third skill. And then for the two, two set runes, go with either focus if you want the support class, or go with blade and revenge if you want an attacker. All right, well, hopefully that gives you some ideas on what to do for your guys' stuff. I uh, wish I had the Fire Pirate. Unfortunately, I don't have one. Maybe someday. Hopefully, it gives you guys some ideas on what to do. Um, you don't always have to follow the stereotypical route. I mean, if everyone goes Rage Blade, Rage Blade on everything, then you really don't take advantage of other skills. Um, you know, it's one of those things where you, you pop into an arena and you think you have someone and you're like, I've got this person, this person, you know, has got this monster, this monster. Everyone always does this and this. And it's that one person who does something that you don't expect that really screws you over and you lose the battle. You got to have that edge. You got to have that surprise. And if you try something different, and I'm pretty sure if you pick any of those options that I was sharing with you guys, um, those are all good options. Um, it takes advantage of one skill or another. And you want to focus on one thing and be really good at one thing for each monster. 
so way they do the most that they can for what abilities that they have. Alright guys, good luck with your runing, setting up your monsters. Hopefully you get some wins in Arena or in Guild Wars. Good luck to you guys, and thank you for listening.